So I initially found out I had TTP in 1995 and um, the first signs were big colourful bruises on my legs and then I was started getting tiny little pin pick, pinprick red dot rashes on my feet. So common symptoms of someone experiencing TTP, so common symptoms uh, are recorded as being confusion, um, slightly paranoia, so having a, a sort of a slight obsession with something, um, or a sudden, a sudden obsession, uh, bruising, pinprick rash, um, stomach upset, headaches. So when I was admitted to hospital, I had um, full blood counts done every day. Um, it was quite, it was about a week before TTP was diagnosed, so it was really simple tests and they were just watching, watching me every day. It was about a week in total from when I first went to the GP to when TTP was diagnosed. For my first episode of TTP, I was in hospital for four weeks. The first week I was on a general ward. I spent two weeks in ICU and then another week on a general ward. And um, it was very confusing. Um, for much, there was only a, probably a week of that time when I felt very ill and I wasn't really aware of what was going on. The rest of the time I was quite fully conscious and quite aware of my surroundings even in ICU. I think connecting with other people who have TTP can be really empowering. It can make you feel less lonely but there's also a risk that it can be quite scary because there's lots of horror stories out there especially in the world wide web and so I think it's important to get information from a reliable source um, and, a, and with a scientific base rather than just people's individual experiences because everyone's experience can be so vastly different.